1962. Go to Los Angeles. Go to the home of Marilyn Monroe. The sex goddess of her time. Marilyn Monroe was a woman who knew too much, and Marilyn Monroe did not commit suicide. Uh, Marilyn Monroe was murdered. She was murdered as a result of assassins coming from Chicago uh, on orders of Sam Giancana uh, because Sam Giancana took a contract to murder Marilyn Monroe, and the contract was put out by the CIA because Marilyn Monroe was a woman who was used by the CIA. Marilyn Monroe knew that the CIA and Sam Giancana and the mob specifically had been working and collaborating for many, many years through the 1950s, running guns, working in various foreign countries. She knew very well what they were up to. Now you add in the fact that she had a relationship with Jack Kennedy, was having a relationship with Robert Kennedy, and now threatened to blow the lid off the whole thing. She posed a tremendous threat, and as a result, she had to be eliminated. How was she eliminated? Specifically, the assassins gained entry to her house just after Robert Kennedy had left. Uh, she was sedated prior uh, in the day, so uh, she was not in a position to, to struggle. They inserted a doctored Nembatol suppository, uh, which dissolved and rendered her impossible to being revived. They killed her with a suppository? Yes. Uh, a suppository that was heavily doctored with chloral hydrates and barbiturates. It was doctored by a chemist. Uh, from the University of Illinois, uh, a man who uh, Sam had used prior to uh, develop various concoctions. Specifically, uh, we say that it was also involved with the, the concoctions for the Fidel Castro assassination attempt. Sam Giancana, in, in 1960, 62, was a man who had the connections. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't a mystery. It, it, wasn't, it, uh, it wasn't unusual. It wasn't a, a freak circumstance that the CIA contracted Sam Giancana to assassinate Fidel Castro. They did because he was the ranking man in organized crime. Ralph, may I add to that that I did meet him in the Fountain Blue Hotel. Sam Giancana? Sam Giancana, right, in November. And uh, also with uh, Roselli. In a Johnny Roselli, later Johnny assassinated? Johnny Roselli, both of and them. And Sam Giancana was. Uh, right, I know, but I have to dispute that, that they, I do believe that organized crime was definitely involved because they had a motive, gambling in Havana, and, uh... You're talking about the assassination of Pre uh, President uh, Kennedy. President Kennedy I don't want to mix apples and oranges. Uh, here, he says that his uncle killed Marilyn Monroe by getting a couple of, uh, assassins to first sedate her and then oh, give see, her a okay. drug no, nem nembutol suppository. Yeah, but, Who told you that, Sam? That information came uh, from uh, not only my uncle, but also men surrounding my uncle uh, through my father. Uh, these are men who were assassins of Sam Giancana that my father grew up with, knew from the old days as a kid. Uh, my father was associated with uh, these men for many, many years. For 35 years, my father... Was, was your father a made member of the Mafia? No, he wasn't. Uh, so his brother was, sort of just told him, bragging? My my. my father had a, had a continuing relationship with his brother. It started when he was a young boy. He watched his own brother, Sam, uh, murder a man in front of him when he was six years old. He learned very quickly of what life was about and learned a lot about his brother. And Sam really took my father on the side and, fair, and protected him. My father uh, ran deliveries for, for his brother. He was a man who uh, worked in the gambling rackets. He also ran a motel for my uncle and was a man that my, fa my uncle felt comfortable talking to. The FBI doesn't have every conversation that Sam Giancana had throughout his entire life. Uh, number two, Sam Giancana felt that everybody, no one was as smart as he was, uh, no one was as sharp as he was, and he r often, often called people jerks, halfwits. My father had a running feud with him for many, many years, and they talked in private in locales that weren't bugged just like my father had access to assassins. Summarize. Your father killed Marilyn Monroe? No, my uncle, Sam Jean I mean, your uncle, I mean, sorry. He, he took the contract from the CIA to kill Marilyn Monroe. The CIA ordered Marilyn Monroe killed? The CIA was threatened that Marilyn Monroe would reveal the relationship that the CIA had throughout the 1950s and up into the 1960s. Ever meet your uncle? Absolutely. You love him? I hated him.
The Mafia, Marilyn, Robert, and John, the focus of this edition of Peralta.